Hey YouTubers, this is Megan from Megan Casey Guitar. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to do something I haven't done before and that's kind of give what I will call the pep talk. To those of you who are brand new, just starting out and you're maybe feeling like you're in that excited phase or maybe you're already feeling the overwhelm, um, learning a new instrument requires a lot of work and a lot of hours and a lot of feeling like an idiot and a lot of feeling like you don't even know your own body because I've had these hands my whole life and I'm trying to make them do these things and they have no idea what I'm talking about. So there's just, you kind of want to set yourself up with the right frame of mind for going into learning an instrument. So I've come up with um, some things that will help. So number one, and this is, this is so huge, this is a conversation I have with people when they have their first lesson, and that is commit. Commit to making yourself one who practices. Um, so this is very similar when people are trying to get in shape and um, lose weight or whatnot, reach their health goals. Um, that New Year's resolution business where you show up to the gym for a month and then it's over. Um, this is just the science of forming habits. So I think the best way you can do this for yourself is in the beginning make a ridiculously achievable goal. And what I mean by this is set a time that's this, ideally the same time every day to sit down, pick up your guitar, and play for even as little as two minutes. In the beginning, it honestly doesn't matter how long it is. I would say don't make it too long. Make it very small just so that there's absolutely no excuse for not doing it. Um, if it's two minutes, like you, you can't tell me you don't have time for that. You can make two minutes happen in your life. So it may take you a month of just picking up the guitar every day for two minutes. And then you going from there, you start finding yourself naturally picking it up. So, and often, hopefully you enjoy picking it up. And these two minute sessions will easily turn into 30 minute sessions. And depending on what your life situation is, like, boy, if you could spend an hour a day, your progress is going to be so much faster. So, um, but yeah, everybody's situation is different. So make it the most effective time you can. Sometimes, like, you'll practice for two hours, but it's not really effective practice. So that brings me to my point number two, and that is work small. So what I mean by work small is this is a mistake every musician makes that you you start at the beginning of a song or at the beginning of an exercise and you play the whole thing through. And then you do that ten times. And basically what you're doing there is you're just practicing making the same mistakes over and over again. Um, maybe you're learning going from a G chord to a C chord to a D chord and you pretty much just do it really poorly thirty times in a row. And that, I mean, you might by default improve a little bit, but you could spend two hours doing that and it's not going to be as effective as spending a highly concentrated 10 minutes very slowly and mindfully moving your fingers from one chord to another. Um, I would spend, you know, 10 to 30 minutes, um, you could even count the number of repetitions and say I'm going to do this a hundred times, and you just train your muscles in your hand to make those shapes over and over again. Because really, when you see somebody play the guitar effortlessly, um, they're playing from muscle memory. It's not, they are not thinking about, I'm going to put my first finger on the fifth string. Like, they're so past that. It's muscle memory, just like riding a bike. So you have to give your hand, both hands, the number of repetitions that they need so that you can rely on your muscle memory instead of your brain. Because your brain in the beginning is just like really step-by-step -step trying to find all the right places. So that's what I mean by work small. It's so much better to maybe in one practice session the only thing you accomplish is being able to make your hand make the shape of a G chord just maybe more uniformly like doing it all at once instead of doing it one finger at a time. And if that's all you accomplished that is going to serve you for the rest of your guitar playing life instead of just I kind of halfway learned the song, I'll forget it by next week because there's nothing in your muscle memory. So number three, this is so important, celebrate the small victories, kind of along those same lines. If you can go and play a G chord and that's the only thing you can do but you can do it solidly, 
that's awesome. You couldn't do that before. Give yourself a round of applause. And this also, this is what you should do is my point number three is record yourself. Um, learning happens over time and very slowly. And so many times I have students be like, I have not progressed at all in six months. And then I will pull out a song that they played six months ago and now suddenly it feels so much easier to them. Um, but it's it's best if you have a recording and you can see, like, whoa, that was pretty bad <laughs> six months ago. But now I'm, I'm able to do that without really thinking about it or without trying. And you'll be able to much more clearly see your own progress, which will hopefully bring that overwhelm and frust frustration down. And it's just kind of hilarious. You can be like, oh, look how much I suck. Oh, I have those moments all the time still, but... Okay, so after record yourself, my next point is um, check your technique constantly. In the beginning, this is so frustrating because there's so many different things to think about. You've got your left hand, you've got your right hand, you've got the way that the guitar sits on your lap or the way you're using your neck strap, you've got a music stand with music and you're like trying to figure out all the different places that your eyes need to go and nothing is automatic. So there's just so much going on that sometimes something like the way that you're holding the pick or the way that you're sitting in your chair or the way that you constantly have to wipe your hair out of your face or the way every time you forget something you put your left hand down and it and then you have to like find your way back before you can play something else. So there's so many minute little details that can hold you back. So as frustrating as it could potentially be, maybe just like have a little sign on your music stand that says check, technique check, or you know, maybe there's something you have a particular problem with. Um, I've given students pictures of themselves holding their guitar just to be like, this is what I should look like. And you know, that could look differently on different people. Some young kids, it's like you can get them a guitar that fits their body, but you know, every body is different. Um, if you're a bigger person, it's gonna sit out further than if you're a petite person. So there's just many different things to think about in the way the guitar fits on your body. So, technique check. You can't let those things slide. Bad habits develop so quickly. And so many of you people that are wanting to be self-taught, um, I think being self-taught is definitely possible. But I tell you, I've seen so many problems of people who just have no idea what they're doing and they've never really bothered to look into it. And so they're playing something and just making everything so much more difficult than it needs to be for themselves. And then you show it, them some simple thing about like holding the guitar correctly or some finger style technique. And then they're like, oh, wow, I, I'm twice as good now in one minute. So never underestimate the power of proper form and technique. And the last thing I'm going to add to the list, this is more of a lifestyle thing, but surround yourself with motivated, positive people. Um, learning something new is going to be hard. There's really no way around that. It's, it, you know, and it's easy to get down on yourself. And there's so many people who start out so motivated, so excited. They buy themselves a fancy guitar. They pay a lot of money for a private teacher. They spend hours on YouTube. And then they hit a point of frustration and they quit. And I think that is so sad, and I don't think that has anything to do with your personal level of talent or even really, like, it has nothing to do with how capable you are of actually achieving your goals, um, but it does have to do with the thoughts that you think about yourself and the people that you surround yourself with. I think it's so good to have, you know, friends around that have kind of that growth mindset. Of, like, it's exciting to learn new things. I'm totally comfortable with being a beginner. It's okay that I suck at this. Like, it's so fun just to even learn. It's so cool as an adult to, I'm in my 30s, and um, it's sad. I mean, some people my age are, like, done learning new things. And for me, I've never been that way, and so uh, that's, like, one of my goals. It's like, oh, please let me learn new things. But, yeah, it, having people in your life that are like that are going to be a huge asset to you. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, i love it if you'd subscribe to my channel, like my page, look for me on Instagram. I've got so many ideas cooking right now and so many things I'm working on that I want to provide for you um, viewers and listeners and tell your friends about it and it's going to be an exciting year here at Megan Casey Guitar. So have a wonderful day, good luck, 
And as my sign in my studio says, you got this. <laughs>